Hello and welcome friends. Today we are going to talk about this square looking beautiful thing, but I'm pretty sure you are pretty encouraged with my hand modeling skills there. Now this device is Edge Connect Ultra Small from Silver Peak HPE Aruba. What? Cut this <laughs> stuff. Let's jump right into unboxing this device. My first unboxing video, so not sure what to include. This is looks like just a document, step by step. Not sure what that is. All right, so apart from that, looks like just a power adapter and power cable with a bunch of other cables, rag gears. Um, okay, let's open up my ultra small appliance. Packaged well. And again, this is the ultra small, the smallest one of the Edge Connect appliance. Uh, hardware appliances uh, I do also have an extra small uh, along with it so this one has uh, LAN 0, WAN 0 and WAN 1 this side we have console, USB, power button and the power port so I don't see any management ports usually working with the Edge Connect virtual appliances so far it usually have two management management zero which is DHCP management one which was set to static I'm not sure how it's gonna work out but due to small form factor I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to be uh, let's see we'll find out about the alt extra small what they have but for now we're just going to take a look up what else is in the box again this is the ultra small and let's proceed with the rest of the unboxing okay looks like just power adapter power cable and that does not look right this is the c14 and my adapter takes those you know those laptop adapter the curve three ones i don't know what you call them uh, network cable and i do have one DB9 to RJ45 console cable but those are fine I'm just uh, upset about the power cable you know you can't blame them nowadays all this shipping crisis going on um, so I guess I'm pretty sure I have some laying around luckily my Lenovo laptop uses the similar power brick so same power cable I'm just going to use that let's plug that in and up oh, lights on and looks good to me let's go ahead and uh, plug in my laptop and configure the switch port for this device I do have um, I think port 45 and 46 connected there are two ways to configure a brand new Edge Connect appliance. Uh, I will be showing you the option one where I would connect this device with my laptop and the management port of this device and then connect to the GUI, configuring all the necessary parameters so it shows up on my orchestrator. Now all of this term may be foreign to you, this, let me just walk you through. Now, as I mentioned, the ultra small appliance does not come with any management ports. I have connected my LAN zero. I'm expecting MAC addresses on my switch, but I'm not seeing it. So I'm connecting my console cable just to see what's going on in the back end. See, the console port configuration is exactly the same like Cisco. Default username and password is admin and admin. Uh, let's take a look at LAN zero port status. What's going on with there? Um, okay. Seems like LAN0 is set here with a private address statically assigned to it. In the virtual Edge Connect appliance, um, that's how management one is set. But as we don't have those port, uh, they are the LAN0 is actually acting like that. So go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and configure my laptop. Connect the laptop to LAN0 uh, and just go ahead and browse that page 169.254.0.1 goal here is to connect to this ultra small appliance grab that account name and key form from my orchestrator paste it to the ultra small appliance then that appliance would be available to be configured via the orchestrator you know that's where the magic happens that's where all the SD-WAN magic happens well it seems like I need to configure my LAN port uh, and then let's get jump into it Quick tips here, by default, all Edge Connect appliance uh, WAN ports are set to DHCP, but their firewall modes are set to harden. Means if you get an IP address from your ISP and you attempt to connect to the appliance directly on that port on that IP, you won't be able to access it. It is blocked. 
so we can that's why we chose option one so we can go ahead and connect to that appliance configure a few of the parameters like dns and stuff so it co can communicate to the cloud portal that is very important so okay this is my uh, edge connect appliance ultra small, small this is my uh, laptop connecting on the LAN zero port right so when you purchase edge connect um, aruba edge connect um, product uh, you get your uh, hardware appliance or you get your virtual up, um, software you also get um, necessary SD-WAN bandwidth licensing boost and um, support right um, along that you get cloud portal cloud portal is just a um, regi licensed registration service and uh, you get orchestrator if you have an on-prem orchestrator um, you that is literally free um, and but if you but if you also have option to choose a cloud hosted orchestrator right so we're gonna take an example of on-prem orchestrator for this um, demonstration so you install that on your hypervisor of your choice uh, hyper-v kvm um, esxi so first of all for your organization you install your orchestrator right you install it you provide that with um, your account name and your account key that you received from sales team after purchasing SDN, um, then orchestrator is going to reach out to cloud portal validate this information and register itself all right so next thing you know you have a site where you are installing this um, particular uh, edge connect appliance uh, as soon as you power that on provide the access to internet it is going to reach out to cloud portal uh, hardware appliances by default should have all that information um, uh, cloud portal should have all the information for example this is abc corporation right um cloud portal have all the information about all the devices serial number mac addresses and all the necessary bandwidth information so when this particular edge connect reaches out to cloud portal cloud portal uh, matches the hardware model and the serial number says okay you part of abc corporation and guess what abc corporation already has a, a orchestrator and it is going to feed back orchestrator ip address um dns name and um, external and internal all that information is going to hand it down right because it's going to validate uh, with the hardware serial number in some case for virtual appliance there is no hardware serial number uh, either you can use a tag or you can uh, pretty much uh, put this account information manually to this device and then it's going to register well, uh, Cloud Portal at this very beginning phase um, does the proxy for you, right? Um, orchestrator every minute connects to Cloud Portal and pulls all uh, all the available devices, right? And then and if it finds a new device, it's going to show up into the uh, discovery portal where you can go click and proceed with configuring any appliance that shows up. Uh, this process is very simple i think three or four click and uh, this particular edge connect appliance would be ready and serving sdn traffic for your uh, enterprise cloud portal does uh, a lot more uh, but for now i think this is the straightforward way of explaining things uh, orchestrators part is single pane of management for all your sdn traffic it holds all your logs statistics um, a, a to z you know now 9.1.2 version uh, i think they are st they are starting talking about distributed um stat collection where orchestrator is just going to manage your sdn st sdn um, um connection your devices but stats collection would be uh, done on a different uh, virtual uh, servers vms uh, and these vms are going to report uh holes hold those um, databases and orchestrator is going to query them if needed but the stats will be always stored on other devices okay that's before i go any further make this complex this is the basic picture of the role of cloud portal and orchestrator straightforward right so let me walk you through now i'm going to connect to this device i'm going to plug in the account number and account key uh, and then uh, you will see that cloud portal um, will make that magic happen it's going to show up right here on the orchestrator for me to approve
here I am at my orchestrator I'm just gonna grab my account name and account key I will then add this information to my new ultra small appliance when I when I add this information this appliance is going to communicate to the orchestrator via cloud portal and then cloud portal will, will proxy this registration process fully now this device will be available on my orchestrator and then I can proceed with configuring it I will apply a lot of settings and then this appliance will be part of my organization's SD-WAN network yay that first line wasn't there a few seconds ago right as soon as we added that account information it is now available i can press that uh, green approve key uh, the button and an approval process will start now it is going to ask me to add a lot of information uh, i can proceed with that or maybe i can do another video where i kind of give you meat and potatoes of sd-wan why we do it how we do it and then come back explaining that approval process so before i let you go i'd like to thank you for taking your time and learning something new i'm always here to answer your questions if you want to learn in details about sd-wan uh, silver peak sd-wan just let me know leave a comment and you can email me as well it's in the contact or um, the details below and i will definitely get in touch with you thank you